Mr. Tladi, thank you for being with us. What can you tell us about the man and the musician, uh, Jonas Gwangwa? Uh, it's quite a difficult thing to say when you've lived with a man most of your life. Uh, Brad Jonas was not only a family man, but he was also uh, a man of the people. And uh, his band was like family as well. And all of us promoters and all that. He loved everybody. He was the kindest of all musicians that I know. Yeah. Yeah. And he was one of the best composers this country has ever seen. Wait. You know, his arrangements, you know, were, were unequal. When, when did you hear the news? Um, we're hearing that his, his wife died just a, a few weeks ago. Um, so I imagine he was a heartbroken uh, man these, these past few weeks. Uh, I think he was. His wife died on the 7th, I think, of this month. Because all I heard, when I first heard of it, I heard with my wife crying. Because they were very, very close with his wife. His valet was like a mother to us, to my family, personally. And uh, that's how I knew. And then Brajonas was like a father to me as well. We were very close family. Today, we knew that he's late before he even left the hospital because the children phoned us to say, hey, your father is gone. And how are they holding up? I, I'm sure uh, very I badly. Haven't, I haven't been able to arrive in Joburg. I'm still on my road from the free state. And uh, everything I had so far was on the phone. We've just been hearing from a historian and an academic how pivotal uh, he was, um, firstly, in, in kind of that homegrown uh, movement in, in South Africa, in Sophia Town, and then also influencing uh, perceptions towards South Africa around the world. Uh, can you describe uh, his legacy in, in, in terms of music? It, like I said to you, in terms of music, that he was one of the composers one of the best composers God gave us for this country. And uh, his, his music sheet will be a historical thing for music students. That's how good he was. And uh, unfortunately, he left without having realized his greatest dream was to, to bring back the show that was called Amanda which he taught the world with to help the ANC open offices all over the world. That's why he was a favorite of Oliver Tambo. That's why he was, uh, he was one of the musicians. I think Brad Jonas was the only soldier in the movement, a musician. He left his talent. I mean, he left his talent. Uh, in, he left. America and came down to Africa to fight. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so it was never art for, for art's sake alone, no. also about um, changing uh, the, the country, uh, changing the, the world. Uh, he was a compatriot of, of Hugh Masekela. Are, are you finding it incredible um, that on this very day uh, Hugh Masekela died? You know, not only Hugh Masekela, um, I'm just a bit shocked that three top musicians that were very close to me died on the same day. Oliver Mtupu, Ibrahim Masikela, and now Jonas Wang on the 23rd. Yeah. I'm getting scared. What's happening? <laughs> yeah. Maybe you, you news people will tell us.
No, we, we have no idea. Um, an incredible, incredible uh, coincidence and our uh, condolences to you. I guess looking back over the, the past uh, year, it's uh, been difficult. You are an organizer and owner of uh, jazz festivals. Um, so, so South African music lovers haven't been able to see uh, these greats. When, when, when was the last time you, you saw him in, in action uh, in, in a big concert? It was when we celebrated his birthday about, I think it's about uh, three years ago. Uh, <clears throat> when we honored him as well. And, and take well. us back to that moment, uh, some of the tributes uh, that people paid to him. Uh, do you remember anything that he said? Well, I, I, I wouldn't remember, but I know that he was very polite person who would also who will also thank anybody who did anything for him he, he would always say that he never expected that mm -hmm. he was never expecting anything besides his singing being appreciated all right, uh, we appreciate your time tonight. Uh, that was jazz music promoter Peter Clyde playing tribute to the late jazz musician Jonas Kwangwa.